I would say there are three ways in which our societal economic processes are contributing to greater disaster risk and greater loss of things. You know, one is that, you know, we are not really focusing that much on uh, systems thinking. Uh, we, are, we are looking at things in silos. And then finally, you know, our disaster risk management practice is entrenched in our understanding of disasters of the past as opposed to disasters that would happen in the future. In India, I can tell you, traditionally, we have focused most of our cyclone risk reduction work on the East Coast and relatively less on the West Coast. But what we are seeing in the last few years is that both the coasts are getting equal number of cyclones. So there are things which are changing in the climate system. There are things that are changing in how the climate system is manifesting different kinds of hazards. So past cannot be a good guide for the future. How do we bring a futuristic look to our disaster risk management efforts? How do we ensure that we are not just managing risks, but we are also prepared for uncertainties? I think over the last uh, two or three decades, um, we are, have made progress uh, in terms of reducing mortality or number of deaths from disasters. But if you look at the number of people that are getting affected by disasters, it's really increasing rapidly. The loss of livelihoods is increasing rapidly. The number of houses we lose, for example, to uh, disasters is also increasing rapidly. We have to do a lot better than what we've done in the last two decades. We really need to go beyond saving lives to also saving livelihoods.